How do you say that the Giants have a worse offseason than the Green Bay Packers? That's a definition of bias. People love Aaron Rodgers, and that's what's going to be their downfall. You know, people are like, oh, we could save Aaron Rodgers' career. He's going to have flashes, but ultimately he's on the downward trajectory of his career. You have to think about moving on from Aaron Rodgers. We made the mistake as Giants fans thinking we can squeeze the last things out of Eli Manning, and we didn't focus on that offensive line. Hey guys, what's up? My name is Anthony and welcome to another edition of BNA Sports Talk. And today what I want to talk about is the Green Bay Packers. And uh, I've been making a lot of Giants videos recently. I have a couple like trade concept ideas that I liked. But then I realized something. Uh, going into last season, I'm like, the Green Bay Packers remind me a lot of the Giants. That's what I said from the 2016 season. And then uh, what ended up happening happened. You know, the Giants obviously didn't make the NFC Championship in 2016. But they had a first year head coach, an agent quarterback, spent a lot on defense. And all of a sudden... They made the playoffs, and what happened over the next couple years is frightening for them. Definitely do like this video if you uh, do enjoy. Uh, I'm going to get into uh, what I think the Green Bay Packers shouldn't do and uh, messages that I have from a Giants fan, uh, booby traps to not fall in. Again, I haven't uh, done a lot of research about the Green Bay Packers in-depth roster. In fact, I'm probably going to make a follow-up video to this video. I just want to record as a naive fan to see whether I'm right or wrong. If you're a Green Bay Packers fan and you completely disagree, let me know. Or if you're like, yeah, I kind of see these warning signs and hopefully they go this certain way, definitely do let me know because I think it'll be an interesting conversation back and forth. But without further ado, let's begin because uh, I mentioned some warning signs. You know, first year head coach, uh, successful, and then Ben McAdoo lost the locker room. That It really happened. Uh, Matt LaFleur is a little bit, you know, laid back. You know, Aaron Rodgers, you know, they have a kind of a good working relationship. They're both young. Uh, ben McAdoo pounded the table. He wanted Patrick Mahomes. I'm not saying that the Green Bay Packers should draft the quarterback, but they should start thinking about it. You know, and Aaron Gordon later in the rounds. I do not think that they should draft the wide receiver. In 2017, the Giants had Odell, Sterling Shepard, Brandon Marshall. They all got injured in the same game after we were 0-4 into the Chargers game. 0-5, 0-5 turned into like 0-7, and then we went 3-13. So... Uh, the Green Bay Packers were blessed with health. In fact, they were the luckiest team since the 2009 Colts who made the Super Bowl and lost. But then they uh, were due for a big regression the next year. Teams that are lucky one year all of a sudden don't have that luck and they fall back. The Green Bay Packers were beating bad teams. They were beating the Lions. Uh, they beat the Bears the first game. The Bears were a good team, you could say, whatever. They, um, they were beating teams barely by any points and even they had some scares against the Panthers with Kyle Allen against the Giants against the Redskins so they were beating up on bad teams last year and by the way against a good team San Francisco they looked uh, their roster looked awful they in the playoffs they got lucky they beat up on I think Seattle in the first round and all they had to do is win one game to get to the NFC championship the Giants same thing happened with them and then we got to the playoffs. We played a superior team in Green Bay. We, I think Eli played great in it, but it's whatever. I'm not going to mention that point. Um, you know, Eli Manning, an aging quarterback. Um, Aaron Rodgers, aging quarterback. Both were 36 years old. Aaron Rodgers was 36. Eli Manning was 36. And we tried to draft a wide receiver and tight end to extend his career. Then the next year, we doubled down and tried to, you know, spend a running back to, to extend his career. Now, Saquon Barkley, I like him. But, you know, we, we made a little bit of a mistake there. Um, but talking about more specifically about 2017, we drafted Evan Ingram. The, Col the, the Green Bay Packers have much more needs than just a wide receiver. And I'm pretty sure you uh, Green Bay Packers fans know. In my opinion, their three biggest needs, their number one is left tackle. Losing Brian Bulaga was a big deal. I know he was aging, but still, you, need, you needed a right tackle. Now you need a left tackle. Your defense got exposed. Um, you, you think your defense is great all of a sudden? Well, it got exposed by the San Francisco 49ers. Now there's a recipe to beat it. The Giants, uh, our defense fell apart. And we spent a lot in free agency as well. You know, the, we, we drafted Landon Collins, but we brought in a bunch of guys. We had really invested into our defense before that season. Uh, and uh, you had a general manager just like dump everything into it. Now, Green Bay doesn't have a general manager, obviously. Uh, well, owners, obviously, you know. They're, um, they're more family-owned, so it's a little bit of concern. But don't get obsessed with Aaron Rodgers and his success. Don't do it. He used to rely on his physical abilities. His ability is just to run outside the pocket and throw it down the field because he has a big arm. Now I think his physical traits are going to be on the decline. Now he has to rely more on his mechanics that he hasn't really developed. That was one of his biggest concerns coming out of the draft in 2005. And, yeah, so definitely Aaron Rodgers, you're going to have to find his replacement soon. The Giants... We stuck with Eli Manning, and that was a big mistake. We, uh, our, 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 our head coach wanted to draft a quarterback and move on from Eli Manning, but our ownership didn't want to do it. 
I would think about starting to move on from Aaron Rodgers. Some viable options. Josh Rosen, Jameis Winston, Cam Newton. Start thinking about bringing these guys in. I don't care what Aaron Rodgers thinks. You know, um, it's about your long-term future. Now, Brian Bulaga, you lost him. You have to draft a left tackle in the first round. Josh Jones, uh, maybe even a big guy. Maybe Makai Becton falls that far. Even trade up, Makai Becton. Focus on your left tackle of the future. It's going to be your staple, your foundation for the next couple of years. You need to focus on that. Um, wide receivers, not important. You know, they got really lucky with injuries last year. Everyone is healthy, and they had guys like Devontae Adams, Lazard, Scantling. So they're going to lose a bunch of those guys next year. But honestly, their backups aren't much better. I would get a grizzled veteran in that locker room. Um, the, the options, not too much. You should have done something better. They have $20 million in cap space. And somehow, the Giants got rated to have a worse offseason than the Green Bay Packers. I'm sick and tired of all this Giants bias. Let me, let me just rant for a second here. Because the Giants got Blake Martinez, who the Green Bay Packers lost. The, um, the Giants got James Bradbury a corner. They got a bunch of depth pieces at safety. Uh, who else did we get? Uh, you know, we, we got Nate Ebner. We got a long snapper. I know there's a little moves. But somehow the Green Bay Packers had a better offseason when they lost their entire depth of their roster, Jimmy Graham. Don't try to replace Jimmy Graham if you're the Green Bay Packers. But the Giants, like, how do you say that the Giants have a worse offseason than the Green Bay Packers? That's a definition of bias. People love Aaron Rodgers, and that's what's going to be their downfall. You know, people are like, oh, we could save Aaron, uh, Aaron Rodgers' career. He's going to have flashes, but ultimately he's on the downward trajectory of his career. You have to think about moving on from Aaron Rodgers. We made the mistake as Giants fans thinking we, we can squeeze the last things out of Eli Manning, and we didn't focus on that offensive line. Offensive line 2017 was pitiful. Um, we, I think we still had Eric Flowers at that point. It was just awful. Don't make the same mistake that the Giants did. Focus on the offensive line. That's the most important thing. Um, and, yeah, um, they got exposed by good teams last year. The Giants got exposed by good teams. And I think that they're on a very similar trajectory path with coaches, with, you know, schedule, with everything. And now they play a first-place schedule. It's going to be harder. And they're going to end up uh, – I'm going to predict it now, 5-11. and 11. The only reason why I'm not confident in this prediction is that this division lost a lot of talent with the Minnesota Vikings. I know you extended Kirk Cousins. Dalvin Cook, can you trust his health? Everson Griffin. Uh, Sh- Sheldon Richardson left two years ago. You know, Xavier Rose wasn't playing great, but, you know. And uh, the offensive line, now you have a left tackle that's, you know, 10 years in this league. He's, he's not really playing that well. So you have a lot of holes if you're the Minnesota Vikings. They have to draft well this year. Um, but, yeah, I think that the Vikings may have an off year. And then you take a look at the Bears and the Lions. I'm not too confident in them either. But my pre-early prediction right now is 5-11 and for the Green Bay Packers. Um, let me know if I'm wrong. Let me know if I'm completely wrong, whether I'm completely misguided, whether you think Aaron Rodgers still has a little bit of juice left in that jar, and whether you think, oh, now Anthony, he... He, he needs a wide receiver. And, uh, yeah, and it, all opinions will be appreciated. I may just be a naive Giants fan, but I think the Green Bay Packers are headed down the wrong path, especially if they drop the wide receiver in round one, which I think is what they're going to do because they love Aaron Rodgers. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.